Peace and blessings, family. It's Mambo Hathor, Urzuli Akhenaten, and we are back with cooking segment number two, okay? Today, we are going to be talking about most special kind of man, my kind of guy, Papa Ogufi, right? Okay, we talking about the five-star general, okay? Who comes in and will kick ass and slash down, take names later. So stay tuned, because today you're going to learn how to make Papa Ogufi guys' favorite dish. <laughs> So what we have to understand is that food is magic, okay? First and foremost, before you begin, you're going to always, and this is my personal function, but you can use a bell, you're going to sound off. We're sounding off because we're about to penetrate the realm of the ancestors. So this is that sound off to begin. Now, the next function is pouring a libation of some water. You go one to the right, one to the left and one centered. Now this is representing what? Touching out and letting know ancestors that are in your home that are known or unknown that you're about to be doing something spiritual within your home, okay? And last but not least, we have the rum, which of course that babaku is sacred to Papa Ogu. This is to sound off and let Papa Ogu know that his food spiritually is in prep mode, okay? And with that, you can also go one to the right, one to the left, one center. In my case, the salutation I'll be doing will be... Sounding off the four corners, letting it be known that the food is in route. We rocks, you know, me now. Food, do, dance, yeah. Couple of drinks, you'll get trans. So now we're going to be speaking on our secret ingredients for preparing this wonderful meal, this spiritual meal for Papa Ogufegai. Now, first and foremost, we're going to have some parsley, okay? We're going to be needing some scallions, which will be the, for the meat. Everything I'm showing you here will be for the meat. We're going to need definitely our peppers, okay? Scotch bonnet peppers, Jamaican peppers, hot peppers, okay? But yes, the peppers. We're going to also be needing an onion. We'll be cutting this up in several time frames also we'll be needing a lemon just a little halfway of that to be taking care of our seasoning to our meat we'll also be needing some sour oranges now if you cannot get physical neville sour oranges this also will do just fine which is a marinade from goya something simple you can find which is bitter orange from concentrate so basically it's already liquefied for you now you're going to be needing a little bit of dash of salt nothing too special a little iodized salt of course, you'll be needing your oil. In this case, we're using some corn oil. You're going to also need for your beans and rice. This particular rice is what we call fragrant long grain rice, which is the yasmin rice, okay? That's usually what we prefer to use. And then also, of course, it's a red beans thing for Papa Ogufigai. So again, simple, something you can find, Goya red kidney beans, okay? And those are going to be just about what we need to get the party started okay so the key ingredient to making for papa ogu is the goat meat okay this is the goat meat which you can go to any poultry local shop and get it cut for you that's the best thing make sure that it's a nice clean cut we're getting chunks of this because we're going to eventually fry this so this is what you're going to be using and what we'll be cooking firsthand to get this nice and marinated get the part started do, do, dance, yeah. Got a little something, something, girl, you can't 